In this demonstration, I'll show you how to solve exponential equations without logarithms. This is part one of this series. Keep in mind that while this technique is useful, it will not always work when the bases and the exponents get more complicated. Let me show you what I mean with the questions shown below. Solve the following. And in part A, they want us to solve for x given the following equation. Notice that on the left side we have 5 to the power of x and on the right side we have 5 to the power of 6. Since both of these bases are the same, you can make the exponents equal to each other. So the exponent here is x, and I'm going to make that equal to the exponent 6. x is equal to 6, therefore the answer to this question is simply equal to 6. Now let's try to solve for x in the next example. Here we have 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 81. Notice that this time the bases are different. So how can we make the number 81 into the base of 3? Keep in mind that 3 to the power of 2 is 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So we can replace this 81 with 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now since the bases are the same, we can set the exponents, these two, equal to each other. So we have x minus 1 is equal to 4, and we can solve for x by taking this one over, 4 plus 1 therefore x is equal to 5. In our next example, we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 32. We're going to use the same technique as we did in part b. So we're going to find a base that will replace 32 with an exponent. 2 to the power of what will give you 32? 2 to the power of 5. So we're going to say 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Notice that the bases are the same now and we can set the exponents equal to each other, so x is equal to 5. Let's move on to our final example. Here we have 7 to the power of 3x minus 4 is equal to 49. Once again, I'm going to convert this 49 into an exponent with the base of 7. 7 to the power of 2 is 49, so we have 7 to the power of 3x minus 4 is equal to 7 to the power of 2. Remember this statement right here is equivalent to 49. Since the bases 7 and 7 are the same, we're going to set 3x minus 4 is equal to 2. 3x minus 4 is equal to 2. Bring that 4 over. 2 plus 4. On the left side, we have 3x. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3x on the left side. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us an x value of 2. Putting 2 inside of this exponent will give us what is equal to the right side. And there you have it. Four examples on how to solve exponential equations without A, the use of a calculator, and B, without logarithms. Stay tuned for part two. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.